guys, this is DHS Hughes and welcome back to How Doctor Who Works. Today I'm talking about evolution of the Daleks. But in this series I talk about things from Doctor Who uh, from the earlier series that I would move over to series 11. This series 11 is now here and I've taken so long to do these videos this year. I'm now doing it just for future episodes. Without further ado, let's start talking about evolution of the Daleks. Only like two months later than it was supposed to be. Last time we saw the Doctor in quite a bad situation, this time we see him using his wit to try and solve the cliffhanger. Tennant's expressions and performance throughout this whole scene is pretty good and the use of the foreshadowed object is, that they use to escape is pretty well done. I'm glad that the episode doesn't feel like it needs to go back. Most series in newer who, you know, T Peter Capaldi's era, spent time with cliffhangers and kind of ruined them because they started talking about something else and there were literally cliffhangers that didn't have follow-ups and it was almost like they were sort of forced in there but not really wanted to be carried out on. Not really what a cliffhanger should do. Complementing music, the group of them escape from the Daleks. However, I feel like maybe if they didn't spoil it in the next time trailer it would have been a lot better. Why would somebody do that? Why would they decide to like put the resolution of the cliffhanger in the episode's trailer? Later on in the episode, the Daleks and the Pigmen enter Hooverville. It's a pretty delightful and action-packed sequence. The camera follows the frantic movements of the people running away from the Pigmen and the Daleks, and then it's all complemented once again with some music. What really sells this music is the sort of rhythm that it has. It has a kind of sort of you can hear that, but it does have it has a bit of a rhythm to it, and the rhythm helps make the scene seem more frantic. I find it really smart that they decided to use action and use violence but without really showing it. They kind of suggest death and they suggest people have been shot but they don't exactly show it. And I think that's something that the current series of Doctor Who could really, really benefit from because they tend to just sort of avoid action altogether in the hope that they won't get a higher rating when and they can still have their sort of tea time slot but really you can still have violence in an episode you just have to present it differently I think that if you present it with people you know dying and being shot violently a um, bit like Hacksaw Ridge you obviously are not going to get that tea time slot but if you're showing it very mildly and not any blood or anyone actually falling from you know genuine injuries, you can still get that slot. That person just stared directly at me as I just stood here talking to myself. <laughs> I like to say that the episode almost like lays the seeds for what happens later on in the episodes and they, as they become bigger conflicts and bigger issues. Um, for example, Laszlo and his um, breathing, that happens a couple of times throughout the episode. Um, before it becomes a full conflict at the end and the Daleks hatred of Dalek Sek is kind of started right at the beginning but doesn't play out until like the third act. Can a TV show even have acts? We'll talk about Dalek Sek soon but first I wanted to talk about the scene in the elevator. As the pig men come up the elevator you can see that the, the shot rate changes, it gets faster, you get more shots of the dial and the shots of the dial sh show that time is running out for them as they slowly approach and then you see pictures of the pig men and all of that builds to the, the tenseness of how this section works and how it is quite gripping to watch. It actually gets worse because Laszlo falls, that means that they're one man down. Um, Frank even says this, um, that the odds are just so stacked against them that they're definitely not going to win. And then they're always building this sort of tension. Back to Dalek Sek. He's shown to be imprisoned by 
uh, the Daleks on one of their suckers. Um, this makes the Daleks quite interesting because it shows their morals or well, lack of, and they show that they are against anything that doesn't agree with them, whether it is their own species or whether it is a, a, anything or a, a leader. If a leader is, if they don't trust it, they're getting rid of it. It also shows that they are rather ruthless and they kind of kill everything um, that they don't agree with. It isn't a Dalek. You could also make the same parallels between the Doctor and the Dalek. So the Doctor is called a Dalek by uh, Martha, which I thought was kind of weird, but I kind of understand why they might have put that in. It was because they wanted to make the parallel between the two. They're both full of hatred, they're both angry and sometimes even evil, they have that link between them so it makes the Doctor more like a Dalek than he really thinks he is. That's probably why the Daleks are probably one of the best foes for the Doctor because they have this sort of parallel to him so much so that they are so alike to him that it does scare the Doctor and he kind of wants to remove it. It's quite an interesting idea, isn't it? But I think that the Doctor proves that he is not a Dalek, or not Dalek-like, in the end of this episode. It does sort of spare the Dalek's life, in a way. It does disappear, but it spares the life of him because he's trying to give him some kind of deal, and that kind of deal would have, you know, prevented him from being killed. The Pigmen have kind of been discarded by the Daleks, and Doctor's caring about everything and everyone in the universe is something that shines through here proving that he is not a Dalek. As we draw towards the end of the episode I make a com as we draw towards the end of the episode I make a comparison between uh, Laszlo and Tallulah and Beauty and the Beast. Um, it also kind of reminds me of the Elephant Man a bit uh, but he's like a pig instead of an elephant. Anyway, so the messages for this episode. Now, last time I kind of didn't do a message because I was doing two parts. I was kind of developing my idea for a message this time. Um, now, I talked about the, the class system and how Mr. Diagoras was the perfect example of a pig uh, businessman and how he was not to be trusted and how he was just a terrible person. Now, all of this kind of gets thrown out the window for Daleks a lot of Daleks and that's about it really so that idea kind of ruins it but if I was to make a message for the first episode it would be about showing class and showing social situations but the message for this episode for me is going to be showing that the Daleks or the villain itself in an episode is truly evil if you can make a villain seem truly evil then the audience will find them threatening of course they will and they will actually fear them and actually be interested to see how they are beaten instead of you know the particular